Hi folks and welcome to Seville. You've come to the right place if you're looking for some inspiration when scouting out some vegan food in this beautiful Spanish city. Oh, and if you're looking for tapas, make sure you watch to the end as number one is exactly what you're after. In fourth place is La Lupe. This popular Mexican kitchen has a decent sized vegan menu that runs alongside their regular menu. Their main speciality? Tacos. And the range to choose from is plentiful, offering more than 10 different varieties. Because we wanted to try as many as possible, we grabbed a platter serving five of those many flavors. It was like a lucky dip. We didn't know what we were grabbing, whether it was going to be super spicy or sour and limey. It made for a really fun dining experience. But oh no, we did not stop there. We also ordered a couple of quesadillas, but were disappointed, sadly, to find out that they were basically the same as the tacos, but with a little sprinkling of vegan cheese at the bottom. One thing's for sure though, if you're a fan of soft tacos, you certainly won't be disappointed by their range. Overall, it was quite pricey though, and despite the food looking amazing, we didn't think the quality of the flavors were worthy of the price tag, but the location makes it quite accessible if you're staying in the nearby area. Third place goes to La Vigana. This healthy vegan bakery is located on the opposite side of the river. Primarily catering for events and weddings, they also have a small cafe packed with vegan baked goods and light bites for breakfast and lunch. We got there towards the end of the day when the cabinets started to run a little empty, but we weren't disappointed with our choices. I grabbed an indulgently frosted carrot cupcake. It was creamy and light and just all round delicious. I, on the other hand, had a Ferrero Rocher cupcake. Despite slightly resembling the poop emoji, it tasted absolutely exquisite. The chocolate dipped cream topping gave a really unique effect that I'd not tried before. Overall, if you're after a nice cheap afternoon snack or a small brunchy sandwich, this place is a great option. With prices ranging from three to five euros per sweet treat, we're yet to find a cheaper vegan bakery. In second place is Veganitessen. Now we're getting into the heavyweights. This fully vegan tapas bar has one of the best ranges of completely vegan Spanish food. Whether you're looking for a beer, brunch, or a baked good, there's something for everyone here. We headed down for lunch and had pretty much half a Spanish tortilla between us. If you want to see our full video where we digest it all, make sure to check out the link popping up in the corner now. Their regular tortilla was dense and realistic, given the egg had been replaced by their own substitute. Served in a good sized portion, which is not too filling, sometimes you can't beat the classic option, eh? But we ordered three more. Each of these came with different toppings from their wide range of tortilla variants. Some highlights include the spicy and the gourmet. Overall, this place was popular and full of people. We saw pizzas coming out that looked amazing alongside burgers and other tapas dishes. So you absolutely have to visit, especially given how cheap it is, at around seven to 12 euros per person. And in first place is Vegan Rock. A little further out of the city center, this charismatic rock-themed bar serves an entirely vegan tapas range. There's plenty to choose from, and we started with their cooked potatoes with garlic sauce, which were soft and delicious. We then followed it up with even more potato as we tried their tortilla. Now this tortilla was even better than the ones we had at Vegan Atessen, with the fork gliding through like butter and the flavors seasoned well. Potato perfection. Oh, it was so good. We also grabbed a couple of different mini sandwich tapas, or as we learned they were called, bocadillos. Both of the types we tried were absolutely scrumptious with their range of mock meats, including a mock chorizo. They were so tasty that they left a mark on my heart. Oh my God, I could have gone back for more of those sandwiches. They were so good. Overall, the dishes had a humble home-cooked appearance, packing a huge punch in flavor. At an extremely reasonable price too, Vegan Rock really did rock our world. Do not miss this place next time you're in Seville. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't already know, we're on Instagram, Facebook, and have a website where you can read an extended blog on this topic. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button, like this video, and check out our channel. We have lots more like this and even more in the pipeline.